The last group that we will discuss is group 10, the return mode group. The only two codes that we find in this group are G98 and G99. G98 is return to initial plane in CAN cycle. We've already mentioned this code several times in previous videos. Now let's see how it works. In this example, we're going to use a G81 drilling cycle to cut nine holes. This is the workpiece looking in the front of the machine. And this is what it looks like looking down from the top. We begin by sending the drill to the initial plane. Remember, the initial plane is the last position that the cutting tool is at in the z-axis before it begins its CAN cycle. G01 tells the machine to travel in a controlled linear move, and the Z0.1 is the initial plane. The F25.0 is the feed rate at which we send the tool to the initial plane from its current position. And now we call up our canned drilling cycle. G98 tells the machine to return to this initial plane once the CAN cycle is over. G81 calls up the CAN drilling cycle. Z negative 0.5 is the required depth of the finished hole. R.5 is the retract position. This is where the tool returns to during the cutting cycle while the tool moves from one location to the next. F6.0 is the feed rate in which to cut the hole. Once this hole is drilled, the tool will retract to 0.5 inches above the part and then read the next line, the X2.0. The tool will move to this new position and then cut the next hole with the same parameters as the first. Once all the holes are cut, the G80 is read by the machine and the G98 becomes active. Notice the tool does not return to the 0.5 inches above the workpiece, but it returns to the initial plane, which is 0.1 inches above the workpiece. It is important to understand that the machine reads several blocks ahead so it can activate and deactivate control commands. Therefore, the G80 is read long before it is used. This allows the G98 to work at the proper time. The other command in this control group is G99, return to the retract position in a CAN cycle. This command behaves in the same way as G98, except for the fact that the tool will return to the retract position at the end of the CAN cycle, rather than to the initial plane. The same setup is used. We begin by sending the drill to the initial plane. Remember, the initial plane is that last position that the cutting tool is at in the z-axis before it begins its CAN cycle. The G01 tells the machine to travel in a controlled linear move. The Z0.1 is the initial plane. Now we call up our CAN drilling cycle. G99 tells the machine to return to the retract position once the CAN cycle is over. G81 calls up the CAN drilling cycle. Z negative 0.5 is the required depth of all of the finished holes. R.5 is the retract position. This is where the tool returns to during the cutting cycle while the tool moves from one location to the next and now it is also the position that the tool will return to at the end of the CAN cycle. F6.0 is the feed rate in which to cut the hole. Once this hole is drilled, the tool will retract to 0.5 inches above the workpiece. It will read the next line of code, X2.0, and will move to this new position 
and cut the next hole with the same parameters as the first. Once all of the holes have been cut, the G80 is read by the machine and the G99 becomes active. The tool returns to the retract position. Again, it is important to understand that the machine reads several blocks ahead so it can activate and deactivate control commands. Therefore, the G80 is read long before it is used. This allows the G99 to work at the proper time.